Good evening and welcome to the France 24 newsroom. I'm Simon Harding. It's the moment Gilles Jaune and France had been waiting for for months. President Emmanuel Macron answered demands made by protesters pledging to lower income tax, raise state pensions and stop further closures of schools and hospitals. Macron is looking to continue his campaign promises of social and economic reforms. The president insisted those changes were necessary. I believe that the transformations that are in progress and that are essential for our country must not be stopped because they profoundly address the aspirations of our citizens. Some may think that they have not been done quickly enough or been radical enough or humane enough, but I really think the actions and policies taken over the last two years were right. Macron's long-awaited speech followed five months of Yellow Vest demonstrations and three months of a nationwide debate which has divided France, shedding light on the president's remarks. And reading between the lines is France 24's Armin Georgian, who was at the Elysee Palace. The main announcement was the €5 billion Euros worth of tax cuts which President Macron wants to be enacted. Uh, he said that these tax cuts would be funded by cutting public spending, by going after tax havens, and also by encouraging people to work more or longer. Uh, there was a lot of talk about giving power to people at the local level, about decentralization, about passing a law to decentralize decision making, essentially so that people can go and have their grievances resolved at the local level instead of going through Paris. Uh, President Macron uh, acknowledging that a lot of the French elite is perceived as technocratic, distant and Paris-based. And as part of uh, that sort of uh, rhetoric, um, he also announced that he wants to end the elite French Civil Service College, the ENA, the National Administration School. Ironically, he himself is a product of that college, as is his Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe. As to how all of this will go down, well, of course, many of the Yellow Vest protesters themselves have said they're not interested in what he has to say. Anything he says tonight uh, would not change their opinion. They're still planning to keep up these protests. In terms of the larger French public, uh, an opinion poll that was published yesterday suggests that uh, while many people support some of the initiatives that uh, were announced today. They're also sceptical that uh, these latest pronouncements by the French president will significantly change their lives. But clearly the stakes are high. A European election is just around the corner and Emmanuel Macron is almost halfway through his presidency. So symbolically a very important moment. Now, for the best part of half a year, France has witnessed street protests every week. The so-called gilet jaune or yellow vests, angered by the direction of the French president's policies and indeed his manner. Well, Emmanuel Macron has now delivered his response following an extensive great debate, a whole series of public meetings to find out what the French people say they want. And he's promised tax cuts and higher pensions, along with a less abrasive leadership style. It's not all a giveaway, though, as Andy Beach reports. Five months of street protests, violence and France's worst civil disorder in decades. What began as a demonstration against fuel prices soon became a national movement against social inequality and President Macron's economic reforms. Now in an eagerly awaited response at the Elysee Palace, he said he recognised the protesters' fair demands, pledging a change not just of policy but approach. I've given the impression of giving constant orders, of being tough, sometimes unfair. I regret that, because it's not what I'm like deep down, and I don't think it's helped my case. Among his planned changes are lower taxes for the middle classes, to be paid for by people having to work longer, protecting low pensions against inflation, the introduction of proportional representation at some elections, and huge cuts in civil service jobs. At the same time, though, he vowed to push on with and even accelerate existing reforms. As France listened, some protesters said his speech changed nothing. 
Bah, le mouvement des gilets jaunes, il va continuer puisque la The Yellow Vest movement will carry on because this speech doesn't give any concrete answers to our questions and demands. When I say nothing concrete, it means citizens won't see anything different in their wallets next month. We won't call off any actions and meetings that are already planned. Unfortunately, I fear demonstrations planned for the 1st of May are going to be violent, very violent, with many, many people. The protests have already cost lives and caused damage to the economy totaling billions of euros. Whether President Macron's intervention will win over the French people or mark the start of a new wave of unrest remains to be seen. Andy Beat, BBC News.